Well, hey guys, welcome to episode 175 of OP TV. A very big happy Friday. Uh, we're here on site at number two Clyde Avenue, Lockleys. Obviously a stunning family home. Uh, that's being released this week, uh, but uh, let's go take a look. So in auction news this week, a whopping 92% is the clearance rate. That's from 34 auctions. Uh, certainly showing a very, very strong marketplace in Adelaide. Also uh, 401 properties selling privately, uh, but certainly a fantastic time uh, if you're thinking of selling uh, in the Adelaide marketplace. Soul story, so this week uh, we had number four North Parade in Torrensville. That was booked in to be auctioned during the week. That property selling prior, uh, we were advertised price 670,000. We had multiple offers on the home, which ended up uh, resulting in an $800,000 pre-auction sale. So we had about 90 families through the home, multiple offers and a fantastic outcome. But certainly um, a great result for the owners there. Also uh, selling during the week, we had a Sportsman's Drive in West Lakes, a beautiful two bedroom property there on the lakefront. And congratulations, Emma Clark. That's a great outcome. Uh, a new record for the uh, Sportsman's Drive Alinga Group in West Lakes. Fantastic sale outcome. Nick's just released the new property at number 51 Bow Road in Semaphore Park. A fantastic property there. Uh, guys, head on down, of course. Fantastic location uh, and a wonderful property. Uh, we have many other homes on our website, guys, so check out there for more details. So guys, in real estate news this week, uh, The Australian had an article on Ted Bainbridge, a famous surfer, big wave surfer, has put his property on the market. Ted Bainbridge paddles out for property boom. Legendary surfer Ted Bainbridge has listed his coastal Victorian home for sale. The champion big wave rider who pioneered landline foe surf reports and then entertaining surf updates on radio, wife Jane built there the Rye home 25 years ago. Set on over 4,000 square metres, the White Cliff Road holding their home had been listed for 3.65 to 4 million. Guys, a wonderful home. Check out the Australian link uh, for all the info. Realestate.com article this week, the sprawling tennis court in Stirling is up for grabs. Bit of a tongue twister, but doesn't look like much for, of a dream home, but this week Adelaide Hills property could be perfect for the spot for the real ball in one. The sprawling 1,034 square metre Stirling block at 5 Waverley Ridge Road currently serves as a tennis court has hit the market. Mrs. Hunt said the owners were selling it because they no longer needed it, so much land, and want to take advantage of the booming market. Guys, a great opportunity. Check out the article for more info. Today was Earth Day. Workshops, panel discussions, and special performance will focus on restore our Earth. We'll cover natural processes, emerging green technologies, and innovative thinking that can restore the world's ecosystems. So guys, of course, what's on this weekend? Well, it's a long weekend. That's for Anzac Day, obviously this Sunday. So head on down to Henley Beach, but of course, head on down to your local, of course, to pay respects to those that have fallen on Sunday morning for the dawn service. So guys, fun facts this week, uh, have you seen Big Bird? Uh, the police are on the lookout to find Big Bird who's been stolen. A 213 centimetre tall Big Bird costume reportedly worth $160,000 made of fresh ostrich feathers has been stolen from a circus in Adelaide. Police are investigating the theft from Sesame Street Circus Spectacular at Benitham Park sometime between Sunday afternoon and Monday morning. So guys, if you have seen any yellow feathers around the place, be sure to get in touch with the police. We hope we find uh, the big bird soon. Certainly be missed on Sesame Street. And the favorite letter of the day is L and uh, number, number six. That's happy Friday from us guys. We hope you have a great weekend. Remember, if you're thinking property, think Oz property. Let's talk.